Hey, this is Steve. Uh, and this is Adam. We're currently at Geeky Villain, and we are going to do an unboxing. We usually do a lot of uh, Final Fantasy podcasts, but we wanted to kind of branch out. And uh, we decided to start with uh, Magic the Gathering, um, as you guys know, MTG. Uh, this one's a little bit special. Yeah, uh, because it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, it is the Japanese uh, version, and as some of you know, the War of the Sparks had the... Japanese artists, um, the special artists uh, like Amano or Mid, um, they do artist uh, arts for various games. Um, mm -hmm. uh, do you know any um, some other artists uh, that on top of your head? So, so the artists who did the alternate art on these oh, these ones, most of them are new to me in terms of artists. You've already told me a little bit they about are. a couple of them. Like, where I was like, oh, this card looks like it almost could have been ripped straight out of the pages of a Fire, Fire Emblem game. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, and uh, the, they v very much have their distinct styles. So when you look at the art, you can mm -hmm. definitely see, oh, this is from Fire Emblem, or this is from Lord of uh, Lord of the Million, yep. or there's the one special card that um, I'm hoping to open. Yes, um, and. Uh, um, the real chase card of the set. <laughs> <laughs> and if we open that, um, turn down the volumes, because I will be screaming <laughs> on top of my lungs, because I am a huge Final Fantasy fan. Um, who is it? I'm sure, Adam, you are too, right? Yep. <laughs> and uh, Yoshitaka Amano did the uh, art for the alt, alt art for uh, Liliana. Yep. Right. And that is the card that anyone who's opening this box uh, should be looking for. And yeah. she's the cover art, uh, the poster child for this one. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's get to it. I'm just going to open this up. Yeah, let's get ripping. All righty. Not, not literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got these. I will take the mid. Which side do you want? Uh, let's go with left there. Left. You got your left. Yeah. And we'll split these. Perfect. You get that one. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. So, Adam, do you want to do the honors, and do you want to start first, or shall I get cracking? How um, do you want to do this? I don't know. How lucky are you feeling today? <laughs> I don't know, man. You should talk. That thing's worth a thousand plus <laughs> dollars, man. I hope I open that shit. Well, the foil uh, is. I believe the non-foil is uh, only around a hundred or something like that. Yeah, it's a huge disparity between them <laughs> price-wise, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, uh, while um, why don't you tell us about like the the rarity, the percentage of the alt art and stuff like that? I believe um, okay. you knew it a little bit better than I did. Yeah. So the last figure I'd seen for the actual like difference in terms of like the pull rate for the alternate arts is about fifty percent. So every other pack theoretically is an alternate art card. The rarity beyond that is kind of hit or missing up in the air, uh, whether it's the common planeswalker, uncommon planeswalker, so on and so forth. But the general pull rate is 50%. Right. So that'll be interesting. So technically, we should be getting 18 alt arts, right? Should be quite a few. Okay. So this should be fun. We're going to just breeze through this. We don't know how to read Japanese. I'm sorry. And to be honest with you, I don't care that much about it other than the alt art. Uh, so I'm going to be ripping through this and hope that we get um, some cool alt art that we can show you here. So um, I should maybe do it this way over here. <laughs> Throw the other card out. Yeah, that was um, from a different one. And oh. so it looks like we hit one already. Samet. Samet. And um, yeah. he's Miyoshi. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know too much. It's not. It's an uncommon. Um, so it's it's at least nice that it's in uh, an action pose of sorts, <laughs> where you know you kind of look like you're gonna get something really like vigorous happening to the enemy. Yeah. Um, that's that. We got one already, and then our <laughs> hero is this card right here. Yeah, Kaya Story Spotlight Rare. That's the uh, that would be uh, Kaya's oath when she uh, officially is inaugurated as a member of the Gate Watch. Look at this guy, I freaking I, I love it. I'm glad I brought Adam along for this ride. <laughs> he knows his shit. So, all right, I don't need to know Japanese. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the one I got here is not the alt art. It's no. Jaya. Yeah, that is the regular Jaya Ballard. Yep. So we don't care. So that just goes back. 
Yeah. And then our hero card, or um, not hero, I'm sorry, our rare is yeah. uh, this card. I actually don't remember seeing this one at uh, all. Yeah, I don't know that one either, but it definitely looks like some <laughs> kind of counterspell when you see a blue card and its price is too blue. Yeah, I'm guessing it's an instant. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Keep on going here. Well, nothing, nothing good yet, technically, right? Yeah, nothing like super high on the value curve, especially. Oh, it looks like there's a alt art and a foil on this one. Yeah. So I haven't seen this on Taima. Uh, actually, I really like this art. Yeah, well, that's what about a, you, man. Yeah, that one's pretty nice. That's that's another one where I feel like, like as soon as you see the art, you're just like, oh sweet, like I just like pulled like a five star or whatever, <laughs> like have you like some kind of gotcha game. <laughs> like that's just the kind of jive I get from these ones. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> five star gotcha. <laughs> yep. Or like SSR, or like whatever, take your pick. Like everyone <laughs> plays gotcha games these days. You certainly do. And it looks like I got a mythic here. Um, I remember seeing this. This yeah. mythic card isn't. Um, I think it's not that good, to be honest with you, from what I remember. It was. It was an interesting one. I remember when it got spoiled. It doesn't really see a lot of play, <laughs> but it's basically Ravnica's version of like a god of sort of just basic destruction. <laughs> All right, so that's our the, one mythic. The, the raise boar, I think it's called. I don't remember the name, but the raise boar. <laughs> and then uh, let's move this one over here so we can see. And this is the foil. Uh, no big deal. Yeah, that one, though, like similar to a lot of magic foils, it might not be a high-value card, but the foiling right in there pops nice and good. Yeah, that's a nice card. All right, next one. I suck at opening these. <laughs> Doesn't have the little tear tab like it usually does at the top there. No. Oh, that's, that's unusual. Like Usually when you get the the Japanese style card packs, there's usually the the, the tab, yeah, the little they got separation the little at the top. Yep. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. Ah. There you go. There is ours. It's the little boy. Yeah, rare planeswalker. Rare planeswalker. He's the. He was. Um, what's that guy who? Dom. Uh, I want to say that's Domery. Or no, that's, I don't think it was Domery. I don't know. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm conflicted on his name. I feel like it's like <laughs> right there in my mind, and like I want to say Domri, but it's like I'm just not confident for some reason. So I went through all the uh, the cards in like the American version, so I can once I see the art, and you know I can see it. Yeah. And, and then I'm looking at the altar, and I'm like, I, I forget what that card was. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the problem I've got with these. Is like I recognize a lot of the characters, like I and I know I know the names, especially like a lot of the planeswalkers. I know it's right there in the back of my head. Yeah. All right. So. We got another. Nope, that is not yeah, an alt art. That is not an alt art, but it is a new planeswalker to the set. It is. No biggie. Um, I th I believe it's very mediocre from what I know. Yeah, it's it's its effect is nothing really to write home about. You're not gonna like go home to your friends and tell everybody how great game great a game you had with them or anything. Yeah. And here is our hero card. Jace doing Jace things. Yep. It's about the story of that card. Poster boy <laughs> magic. <laughs> He's like the Charizard of Pokemon, isn't he? Yeah, ba basically is. Was like, I've never been a huge personal fan of Jace. The average Magic player seems to be, so they're gonna keep printing him from now until the end of time. <laughs> there is a Jace alt art um, in here, yeah. so hopefully we can uh, pull that and show that off to uh, the viewers here. Looks like another uh, non alt art. Um, yeah, non Planeswalker. Yeah. Yeah, non alt art, but still a good card. It actually has started seeing play in uh, mill decks in like the modern format because uh, it, it's minus one, like as an extra co uh, couple chip cards, basically in terms of like cards off the top. So in addition to your mill spells, it's a nice card to have. Yeah, so decent card. Uh, here is our hero. Uh, don't know the name of that card at all. I don't know either. But there's a bunch of people holding hands, so something must be happening. Is it an artifact? Uh, no, that looks like a land. Oh, is it a land? Okay. Yeah. All right, land. And here's our foil. That nothing is nice. It's very pretty. Um, but nothing. I believe it's nothing to write home about. No. It's just a pretty card. Pretty. Very nice. All right. 
I don't know. I'm sure you're anxiously awaiting your turn. Looks yeah. like I'm not pulling anything yeah, good right now. Yeah, they're sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ah, Johnny. Johnny. Okay. Here is, and he's alt art. Yeah. Um, it's actually by what's his name here, Midorikawa. Yeah, Midorikawa. Miho Midorikawa. Another I artist. Do not know that artist. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that one either. But like, that's kind of par for the course <laughs> for me with a lot of these cards. So either it's Yoshitaka <laughs> Mono or Mid, or I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, or uh, the one artist you told me about. That's basically this game's equivalent, <laughs> apparently, of five band graphics from Pokemon. So that's cool. Uh, I got a foil here. And it is uh, of a planeswalker. Uh, yeah. It is non altart. Foil Kaya. Foil Kaya. Looks pretty cool. Alrighty. Alright, looks like I'm nearing halfway through here. Yeah. Yeah, not too much farther left to go and a whole lot of hope draining away. Yeah. I pulled some foils already, so I'm kind of sad right now that none of them have been good. And right. boom! It Earth. is the Wanderer. Yeah, I know this one. Regular art, unfortunately. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I think I've seen the alt art of this one, and yeah, yeah, it's yeah. actually pretty cool. Um, I like the art of it. Um, interestingly, both arts kind of breached the top border of the card with, yeah, the, the, with the hat with there, the, the little feather. <laughs> And then here is our hero. That is the Karn's land or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's 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 Karn something. It belongs <laughs> to Karn. It's made by Karn. He's like the creator of like metal things, yeah. basically. All right, we're gonna try try to get the cool art. Arts I haven't pulled any alt arts in a while now for yeah. me. And oh, there's, there's another there's, one. And this is by Shinomaru. Shinomaru. Which I don't know either, but nice the art style. The art style is pretty cool. I really like that. Kind of looks some, like some Dark Souls esque stuff to me. Yeah, like something you'd see at a Dark Souls concept art. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, got that one, and then yep. here's our hero card. It's the go It's a goblin. Um, it's one of the goblin. Yeah, I don't re don't remember the name for that card in English, but I remember it being a decent card if you're playing Goblin Tribal. Yeah, a I'm good sure new good is. new card for Goblin Tribal. All right. Um, so funny thing was uh, trying to do this. I opened up um, one of the what is it, Elite Trainer Pack kind yeah, of yeah, things, yeah. and I pulled a Liliana Death Horde um, in that one though. Oh. So I might have used up all my luck here. Ah, here we uh. go. Here is um, one of the worst Planeswalkers to have ever <laughs> received a card, aka Sir Tiblington. <laughs> But it is alt art, so that's yep. uh, kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> one one positive, <laughs> one positive to it. Both both printings of that card, him and the original version that they printed back in Innistrad, are just terrible. They're not good. <laughs> All right, so the back is a mythic. So let's see what that is. Yep. It is. Uh, not great. Okay, I believe that's Ronus. Yeah, God Eternal Ronus. Oh, there's there's our second mythic of the pack. So technically, I think there's only three mythics in yeah. um, a set. So yeah, I pulled two. Yeah, the average, at least of most base set boxes, is like anywhere between two to four. Yeah. All right, let's keep on going here, and we have this one, which is yeah. not Altar. T Tamio. Tamio. The Moon Sage. Oh, not the name of the card, but that's who she is. Um, cool yep. character, but yeah, unfortunately, again, not an alternate art. Not alt art. The hunt continues. I haven't seen any of the really cool, um, cool alt art ones yet. And it, we are getting this one, which uh, is not an alt art again. Dovin Bond. Dovin. Uh, all right, get out of here. Yeah. All right, and here's our hero card. Also, um, fantastic art, but pretty meh. Yeah, I get those out because we all know what we're here for, after all. <laughs> 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 this freaking Ili uh, Liliana or bust, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ride that gravy train until you f ride it off the rails completely, or like you reach the promised land, basically. Yep. All right, and we are 
going to see... Oh, I saw this one already. Oh, okay. This is Fumidori. I actually know the artist for this one. So F Fumidori is the artist for Fire Emblem. Yeah. So um, if you've seen Fire Emblem, uh, this is the art that you're going to get. And when you look at it, uh, it screams at you Fire Emblem. So mm -hmm. we got that one. So that's cool. Not too horrible. And here is our hero card. Also, yeah. pretty cool uh, art. I don't mind that. But yep. um, it's not that great. Not that great. So I think, the card. I think the thing is, in Magic, the pretty much thing um, I think about mm -hmm. is if it has a low cost... But but it's like a hero or a mythic, it's probably good. That's <laughs> so if you don't know anything <laughs> about magic, just think that. <laughs> yeah, the higher the rare the higher the rarity and the lower the ma casting cost generally leads to better cards. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, and this one is going to be the alternate art the alternate Dovin. of Dovin. So I'm going to actually because we pulled it, I'm going to Yeah, it's floating it around side, in there somewhere. There you go. Side by side here. Let's do that. So if you look at this, which do you like better? So that one, I actually do like the alternate art better, uh -huh. the one on the right there, mostly just because even though it's like relatively the same art, mm -hmm. like in terms of like what's in the picture, it's nice to get like more of an action-oriented pose and like a close-up on the servos that he's like yeah, creating the in servos. the little ornithopters. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I definitely like the the alt art on this better, and it's by the Blanche. The Blanche. That yeah. doesn't even sound like a Japanese. I name. don't know if I could pronounce <laughs> that correctly if someone told me how to do it five or six times. <laughs> Not blangy. All right, uh, and here's our hero card, which is okay. I would imagine, or maybe not. It doesn't looks like it has haste or it's, vigilance. Yeah, or something. it's got <laughs> some sort of keyword on there. Yeah. All right, I got three more left. Yeah. Try to get through these. Gonna go straight to it. All right, a Nissa. Nissa Planeswalker. I believe Walker. that's the regular art, on That is the regular art. So I skipped right to it, and we're not going to get any other yeah. Planeswalker. You get one per pack, right? So yeah, should be one per pack. So that's ours. Let's put that right here so the camera can still look at them. All right, two more. Do you, do, you still f do you still have any luck left in your heart, you think? No, I'm done. Like any? I'm done. I'm ready to pass it. <laughs> 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 Here's my another Planeswalker. Not Ugin, all card. Though. Ugin, There you go. That it's is a good card, and it is definitely worth some money, but <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> not the alternate art version. <laughs> Nor foil. <laughs> U Ugin, with an interesting word, Ugin the Ineffable. Ugin the would be the name of card. The ineffable. ineffable. I had to Google what that term, what that, what that word meant. So enlighten us. What does that mean? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're listening, uh, you Google it. <laughs> All right. And so uh, this one is ah, uh, it's yeah, this one, and it's not even alt art. No. The alt art for this one is pretty cool. I yeah, think. he's actually not bad. Yeah. So there's that one, and here's some uh, submarine ship. Yep. Back to twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Yep. Maybe maybe the submarine will take you to where you need to go. <laughs> maybe we'll see. not. <laughs> and here's the foil. And hey, look. Yay. A very important story spotlight card. I will definitely say that. So Basi while I open my yeah. card, I want you to explain that to yeah, us. Yeah, so basically that card is a pretty pretty big moment in terms of Liliana basically decides to break the contract she has with Bolas to kind of fight back against him after essentially basically having her contract called and being his slave for a bit. Oh, let's see what we got here. Alternate Sahili Rai. Just going to cover that up. That looks yeah. pretty cool. I actually like that one. I like the art on that one. The that colors cool. are phenomenal. Yeah, I love it, actually. This, this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for right yeah. here. This looks amazing. I love the art on it. It's by uh, Momose. Mm. Hayashi Momose. No, and Hisashi. That, and at the same time, it's almost a tease because you just want to <laughs> see what that looks like in foil. <laughs> God, we haven't pulled a single alt art foil, man. Yeah. All right. Well, Adam, you're gonna have to do. Uh, you're gonna have to do all it right. because I have failed. So it's all on you now. All right. Here we go. First pack. I think probably skip straight to the back. I think because that's what we're all here for. <laughs> all right. Token land. Foil. Foil. And ah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Is that our first? No, it's not the first rare uh, alt art. We have one here. Yeah, that yeah. is the alternate art Vivian Reed. Another Fire emblem character. Yeah. <laughs> Tap the back? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, adjust our thing there. All right. All right. So, yeah, no, it's a – I actually really like that one, too. I love it. Do you see all the lines coming out right here? Yeah. yeah it's it's just amazing. It just really overlaps on the card, and it's spectacular. All right, keep all it right. going, Adam. Yeah, the foil was kind of inconsequential, another, <laughs> like, spell card that I don't remember the name of. Oh, gosh, I wish these things were easier to open. Why can't they have a pull tab? <laughs> all right, so go from the back. Token, land, uh, Euro. Yeah. Ah, ah, okay. We were actually talking about Another this. Another alternate art, yeah. D. Suzuki. I believe he was the artist for Duel Masters. We looked this up. Yeah. Arlen Cord would be the planeswalker on that one, and I was actually pretty thrilled when I saw that one the first time. Yeah. Um, Adam said he really liked it. I'm... I'm okay. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool, but um yeah, I just like the cards a lot that have the uh sort of drawn like more, more drawn aesthetic. Like it looks like someone took to a like a piece of parchment paper with some colored pencils and essentially sketched it out. Yeah, like uh Yoshitaka Mano's <laughs> artwork. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speak of the devil. Oh gosh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so get this back in here. All right, token, land, uh, Soren versus Nahiri. That's always an interesting action. That's a big beef right there. And All right. there's the Planeswalker that is not alt art. I want to say her name was Huatli. Huatli. Huatli from Ixalan. Yep. Like her basically first time off the plane and her first action. That's the rare there. I haven't shown these too much yet, but that's the rare. Yeah, Soren versus Nahiri action. But uh, Huatli, like her basic, like first big step off of the plane is to jump into this like plane, you know, big deciding battle. <laughs> so fine, how do you do? And welcome to the universe, if you ask me. <laughs> All right. So I'll see here, it's an interesting token. I actually like that token. Land, uh, then foil. Yeah, our foil is this guy right there. I think we pulled that one just earlier. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Right here. Here's yeah, just the foil, foil version of it. of it. Boop. Foil version. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, just a regular rare and more people holding hands. We saw this one already. Yeah. We pulled this one already. <laughs> Get that out of here. And just <laughs> toss it to the curb. Was there uh, the planeswalker? Don't give it the time of day. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, okay. All right, there you yeah, go. Yeah, that was my bad. There we go. So this is actually not the alt art. Um... Uh, planeswalker, but you do get a planeswalker in every um, mm -hmm. every pack, so just check in. And yeah, uh, she's the one who I thought looked uh, an awful lot like uh, Jaina Proudmore from, uh, from World, of, World War of Warcraft. So the thing says about the player who never plays it. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing about this one is, um, while well, Adam's opening up here, um, there the, we saw the alt art of this one, and um, this is the very few cards I actually like the original um, mm -hmm. the card of. Yeah. For me, it was close, but I I would hazard to say mostly due to the coloration on the alternate art that I preferred that one as well. It's too pastelli. Yeah, it's a bit much. Okay, just a regular rare there. Nice man with a really sort of evil-looking chain whip. <laughs> He's probably going to bash someone's skull in. Uh, it costs uh, not yeah. too much, so it's uh, it's not bad, I think. It has yeah, a lot of words in it's there. It's got a lot of text. <laughs> it's like drifting into that sort of wall of text category. And we have an Angrath. And it is by Sus uh, Sasuyu. Yeah. And it is the alt art. So that's pretty cool. I like the art, how yeah. it goes to the borders over here. And it goes outside of the borders here. It's another one I would love to see in foil, just because those uh, red-black red cards uh, tend to really pop. In terms of the foiling, it's a nice contrast between the red and black. Yeah. Oh, come on. Right. There we go. So we haven't. Man, I'm actually starting to get a little bit depressed over here, man. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're uh, things are looking kind of shady right now. It's a little dim. We'd definitely like a different kind of shade being thrown <laughs> our way. V2 Gazi is uh, our rare. That's the name I was blanking on earlier. Uh, kind of like the soul of uh, the plan of Ravnica, like born into an actual like physical form. And then our planeswalker is planeswalker is uh, Jai, okay. John, John Yu. John Yu or yeah, something like John that. Yu, yeah, yeah. He first showed up in like a uh, 
uh, a supplementary product specifically made for the Chinese market. Mm, is that what it was? Yeah, he yeah. sounded very Chinese. Yeah. Came in a Planeswalker dual deck sort of thing with another Planeswalker who he was fighting against. Uh, I, will fi I guess I should say, I don't know if he was actually fighting against her, but it was a Planeswalker dual deck. <laughs> <laughs> Had a bunch of like Chinese-specific cards in it. Uh, Chinese region. Uh, to do. And then we have a Ral Zarek. Ral I Zarek. believe this is just the regular one. It is. It certainly is. And we're not going to have anything else because this is the rare and the Planeswalker. That means yeah. there's nothing good else in that yeah, just pile got here. Back to the uncommon. So, yep. I mean, that's all she wrote on that one, unfortunately. But here we go. we still got quite a few more left to go. Hope is still alive for the time being. Adam, do it for us. Come on, get that, get that a mono or it, man. I'm certainly hoping so, because otherwise, you know, you kind of feel bad about your <laughs> life. You just like go <laughs> home and you sulk and you maybe cry yourself a river and eat terribly for a couple of days. Yeah, and just cry yourself to sleep and everything. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, the rare is a, a vehicle of some kind. I don't know the it's name a of it. Fire vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. But some interesting. Yeah. It's and then ripping up the street. <laughs> and then the next card is okay, Obnixilus. I believe that is the alternate art. It is. It looks very cool. Um, definitely, um, I, I'm definitely liking all the ones that kind of go outside of the borders. Yeah. I definitely do enjoy um, seeing that. Uh, this is also by Sasiyu, um, though also the the artist that did this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see a lot of the same design <laughs> language in their <laughs> art. Like, you put them side by side, and you're like, okay, oh, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Same guy. <laughs> same dude. Alrighty. All right. So next one, token land as usual. Toss those away, and the rare is some kind of merc folk dude. It's a mythic though. Yeah, it's one of the mythics of the box. Costs don't know a how, lot. Yeah, don't know how good the card is. I know people played it, but <laughs> <laughs> it is <laughs> a legend. Yeah. Yeah, but that means we still got the planeswalker left to go. And oh, there uh, we go. okay. It so, is an alt art. Yeah, alt art Kaya. It's mid. I believe mid is the one that did uh, Lord of a Million, yeah. I believe. Um, I believe this in itself is very mediocre from what I know. This, yeah, uh, it's, Walker. it's nothing too exciting. But it is alt art, so that's pretty cool. All right, come on. There we go. All right. So toss those away. All right. More God Eternals romping around as our are rare there. Nothing too exciting. Got their big army, you know, going to like destroy yeah. some stuff. Ruin people's lives, as you do. And then okay, Sir <laughs> Tiblington reappears. In this case, the yeah. regular the regular, uh, the regular art. So it's even worse. Yeah. It's uh, even a, worse. A bad get card managed to get worse, <laughs> as is the story behind Sir Tiblington. <laughs> Right, as we proceed into the next pack here. Oh man. Okay. Alright, toss those. Okay, so the rare oh. is some kind of Sarkin. Uh, so that'll be our planeswalker of the pack basically. Yep. Yeah, and, and it is alt art. Yeah. I'm definitely liking this actually. If you look at it real close, um, all the the colors that's uh, going around over there, I really, um, I'm enjoying this piece. Yeah, very the pa much. the patterning is pretty spectacular on yeah. that. I'm it liking it. Flows really nicely. Yeah, definitely liking it. And it is by Lack. Wow, that's a weird name. Lack, Lack. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting choice of name. You wouldn't be one of lacking for artistic <laughs> skill if you're being chosen for art projects. <laughs> but you know, who am I to judge? It's their name. All right, so we got five more after this. Yeah. Take All those right. off the back. All right, and we have Another a Niv myth. Mizzet, Niv Mizzet Reborn, or some such. A uh, pretty big moment for him. Unfortunately, in the story, he didn't do too much with his new form before he basically got slapped down by Nickel Bulls real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch slap. Mm-hmm. More or less. All right. All right. And then our planeswalker is going to be. Oh, uh, okay. So that, don't remember her name. I remember roughly when she came <laughs> out. <laughs> it's not even alt art, so bye-bye. No. Yeah, it gets tossed. Oh, geez, how many do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six packs left six to go. Six packs left. All right, Adam. All right. 
The hunt continues. I think we got four mythics out of this, but sadly enough, um, they're Japanese. Yeah, cards, the alt art or the, anything. The so. hit rate has been decent in terms of the upper rarity levels, but all right, uh, some eternal guy who I think is a good card, but he's just doing his thing, casting spells and stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty good card, I think. You can it's probably playable. All right, and the Planeswalker is a Sahili Rai. And it is not alt art. No, regular stuff. Regular stuff for regular people, apparently. Not being <laughs> blessed by the pack gods right now. No, might as well just pack it up and go home at this point, man. So. Yeah, just pack all your cards into your suitcase. Just throw them all in there. <laughs> start, start hitchhiking way across the country, schlepping cards for food. All right. Tafari. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tafari, alt art. Um, I think this one's pretty cool. I like the. I actually like the Pastelli uh, color on this one a little bit better. Yeah. So like the the other card that we were talking about, like not liking the two versions of uh, between them, the alternate art of this one. Uh, the issue I think we both had with that one was it was still pastel but super bright. Yeah. So just I don't know, just didn't do it. Didn't do what we wanted it to do. <laughs> well, that one's pretty cool. Definitely yeah. liking that one. Not, it's no mono though. No, no. It's like one of those things. It's like you just take a take a gander at a mono's art, and it's just it's nothing compares. It's yeah, nothing compares. Like just the most imaginative line work you've ever seen. So you start to see uh, some other people throw their stuff in. Just doesn't quite do it for you. All right, Chandra. Chandra. I believe that's the regular art. That is the regular one. And because it is our Planeswalker, there's nothing worthy of our time in the rest of the nope. pack. It's about to burn that card as she would burn everything else <laughs> around her. And, yeah, that was, uh, that's yeah. it for the pack. Yeah, I always keep forgetting that the, there's a Planeswalker as you rare. That's basically it. That's yep. all she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you open it up and you got a rare Planeswalker, and <laughs> unless there's a foil <laughs> in, in that pack, I mean, it's, you know, mm -hmm. that's it. All right, try my best to, like, now just take off the token of land without looking at it. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, I actually got excited for a second because it was black yeah, and it you was see foil. That black. <laughs> I, mean, so I was like, oh, maybe it's purple. Oh, no, no, no. Piece of shit. Get it out of here. Baited. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, okay. All right. There's just our hero the car. Our We'll just scorch that one right on out of here. And then our planeswalker. Yeah. Uh, Zhang, the Zhang, yeah, the Zhang Yu, uh, Zhang Wu or Zhang Yu. It's the yeah. alt art. It's by. It's super cute. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. It's super cute. Izuka, Daisuke Izuka. I believe Daisuke Izuka did actually. Um, I forgot what artwork it was doing. What uh, what this person did, but it's definitely cute. It got you got the dog on the side mm -hmm. and everything. I'm definitely digging it. Yeah, regardless of it. how productive he is in battle, you're going to cheer him on because he has got the best boy companion with him. The best boy. Best boy. All right. All right. I got uh, some sort of soul-sucking eternal guy. Ripping people's sparks out and stuff. For two swamp. That's that's actually not bad, probably. It's a really pleasant way to go. <laughs> you should try it sometime, <laughs> really. And our planeswalker is Vraska. Uh, yeah, Vraska. Regular art. Regular art, Vraska. Probably turn that one to stone. <laughs> and we got one last one, one left. One pack remaining. Oh, Drum man. roll. Drum roll here. Do the drum roll here. Do, do, do. Yeah, tap on <laughs> tap on the microphone. <laughs> Just break it. Yeah, to toss it. Just like chuck the headset across. Chuck the headset across the table <laughs> while you're at it. Just like to vent your frustrations. All right, Adam. Did you do it for us? All right, well, let's rip that off. Let's not look at anything. Kay. All right, and it's going to be. Well, there's still a planeswalker in there. There it is. But there's no foil in there, though, right? All right. You ready to pull the band aid off? All right. Ah. Oh, God. It's not even all tart. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, someone, me someone needs to put up a shield around my wounded soul <laughs> on that card. So that was very, very unpleasant final uh, planeswalker from our War of Sparks uh, box opening. But anyways, let's get this yep. out of here. So, yeah, I'm going to put my favorite one in here while we talk and finish off this video. I like this one. I'm very much yeah. digging that one. I, I, I think I'd be – so I'd be tempted to say that's my favorite, if anything, just because I would love to see it in foil. <laughs> like, if it was the foil version, <laughs> then maybe it might be my favorite. <laughs> As it stands now, 
I think my favorite is, is this one right boy. here. Yeah, best best boy. All right, Be- best doggo. <laughs> They're both very good. They're both very good. So um, I, I believe I was watching, you know, a lot of videos and stuff like that, and they yeah, were yeah. saying, "Don't do this. Yeah, don't do this." And I, I want to say this is for fun, and we wanted yep. to do this as a video. We want you guys to watch um, and um, live vicar- uh, vicariously through our video yep. instead of actually doing this because you are not going to get your money's worth. No, from what I know. <laughs> no, like it's. I don't think I know of too many card games where you can just crack boxes and expect to get value. You're <laughs> you're chasing cards, and most of the time it's a fool's errand. Let people like us do it for you. So Magic the Gathering is very, very hard to do, but we had fun. Uh, we got to yep. see a lot of alt art, um, and um, I think the reason why we wanted to start it off with this is because of... Uh, the rarity it is. Um, yeah. Not a lot of people um, can get access, especially in the United States, I believe, can get um, access to the Japanese, um, uh, the booster boxes and stuff like yeah. that. So we did this. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. You know, Subscribe and like our video. And um, we hope to see you next time and we'll bring something else. Thank you. This has been Steve. And this has been Adam. Bye-bye. Bye.